So, John, another difficult game against Breivik. How are you feeling after the match? Ah, we're disappointed. We gave away two very silly goals in the first half, and then we were fighting an uphill battle. But I tell you what, at half time we really felt we were still in the game. Um, we didn't lay a glove on them in in the game on Sunday, and then we came out today. Yeah, we were beaten, but we really put a we put a really good shift in, and the players worked their asses off, and and they were we were kind of proud of them. we were very proud of them. Um, gave away some silly goals though, and that's you see we were talking all year that we're 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 you know, taking the next step and whatever. And that is the next step, to come to places like this and not give away silly goals, you know. And uh, I thought the way our players stood up to the... the um, oh, I'm not going to say that. The way our players conducted themselves was excellent and we were very proud of their of their character. Did you see a lot of difference from the from this game and the game on, on Sunday last? Yeah, I think the, the game on Sunday last was maybe a reflection of, of the fact that we had done a great job getting into Everett Lutte. Um, and we maybe just took our foot off the gas for a little bit. And then I had a little chat with them um, on the, the day after the Monday, and then we got back to training. And I was very quiet the last two days because of the performance of the players. They, uh, they all stepped up, they all worked hard, and you could see the effort and the commitment that they put in today. As I said, we just go back to the silly goals, and that's what we have to cut out. You know, we've scored some great goals through the year, uh, and we've defended very, very, very well through the year. Today was one of those days that, you know, anything that seemed to be hit seemed to go in. No problem with that whatsoever. We'll work on that. Some important players missing from the team, you know, Ertan and Salma. Difficult to be without them today. Today. Yeah, it's always difficult to be without quality players, you know. So, but then we were super proud of of Son Hilder coming in, and and you know she always gives a hundred percent. She's fantastic. Uh, we also had Hilda fall in sick this morning, and she wasn't able to be on the bench as a game changer. So it was just one of those things that you know it just kept steamrolling and steamrolling. That's why I'm so proud of the players. They could have put their head down. They could have just been, you know, a little bit uh, off. They weren't. They were at it today, and they were pressing and fighting and, and putting people under pressure. And um, if you're going to lose four nil. It's at places like this. This is where you learn, you know, if you're going to lose 4-0. And then you look at next year, we won't be losing 4-0. <laughs> Adnan and Selma both dealing with injuries? So. Selma is sick, but she's coming back. So she, she should be coming kind of coming back into training now in the next few days. Adnan is just suspended, you yeah. know. And it's, uh, that's all it is. She'll be back in again. And, and uh, you know, she's a great player. And, and it'll benefit us coming back in. But, you know, you were talking about the players that were missing. We had two 14-year-olds came on and did very, very well as well for the last 10 minutes. So it's... Uh, we're incredibly proud of them, and uh, for a team to come here, excuse me, <laughs> for a team to come here and uh, put that kind of performance in, when realistically the, the goals of the season have kind of been met, it stands them very good for the the future. There's re the future's bright here. Um, so yeah, yeah, we'll be a little bit stronger now next week. Also, Jesus, I forgot about half these bars. She's away to school in Sweden, so we miss her as well. Um, so for the players to put a performance like they did in tonight, effort-wise, super, super proud. Finally, you know the next few weeks is how you're going to use them, as I said, because you you've already achieved two goals. Well, yeah, we've already achieved the first goal. We had another goal here now because we were saying that the the Everett Lute is like a little tournament, so we have a certain points goal that we want to achieve in that. So, uh, all right, we've we've lost points tonight, but there's still four more games to go, and we have a certain amount of points that we think. Um, would make us uh, that that five games a successful kind of mini tournament, you know. So uh, yeah, we're still well on track for that. And uh, you never know. Next week, sorry, in two weeks' time, we'll have a little rest now this weekend. The girls can go and enjoy themselves, hopefully, because they've had a they've had a terrific eight, nine, ten months. We'll uh, and we'll enjoy it and then get back to work next week. Thank you, Nick. Good luck. Well.